Hey, it's me, R O T A R. A month ago, I asked you if you want to see a Q and A. Well, I received some questions, so we're going for them today. Hope you'll enjoy. If you have any trouble understanding me, I made some captions. Okay, good to go. Nice. What was the first instrument you learned, and which do you play today? My first instrument was, as you can already imagine, a guitar. I bought it back in 2017 from my pocket money. And at that time I bought it because I was in love with the music of a German band called Die Ärzte. I just wished to play some of the tunes myself and against the will of my father I spent 50 whole bucks on a very cheap and bad guitar. And I'll never forget the first song I learned. Ich weiß, du wirst mich vermissen, auch wenn du jetzt gehen musst. It served me pretty nicely though, because I only got a new one in 2020. This was the time I started to take music pretty seriously, and it was also the year in which I released my first song, Snowflakes. And because I wanted to include other instruments in my songs as well, and fell a bit in love with learning new instruments, I started to learn piano, percussion, and ukulele too. And I still wish I had more instruments to learn, but as you can imagine, there are two reasons why I stay with these for now. Space and money. Nevertheless, my instruments always served me super well and are just like a little family to me. How did you get on YouTube? I started doing YouTube in 2014, at the age of 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Na ihr Schnitzel, was geht? Wir spielen heute Five Nights at Freddy's. When I was a little guy, I used to watch YouTube videos every third evening in the kitchen on my dad's laptop. I quickly fell in love with the whole concept of doing videos, so I started doing them myself. And now I have a huge history of stuff that I did. I started doing Let's Plays in 2014, ended up doing stop motion with the few Legos I had. Then I made fan-ups back to gaming, parody videos, YouTube poop, rap with the Pikachu mask, with comedy videos and sketches back to fan-ups until I ended up where I am now. How and where do you get inspiration for your music? And what are your thoughts when you publish a track? My music is pretty personal and I always use it to cope with my feelings. So my greatest inspiration is definitely my own life. Of course, I take a lot of musical inspiration from the stuff I listen to as well. My music taste reaches from... to... I'm comfortable, comfortable, comfortable dog. But I do have some artists that help me figure out what fits best to me as well. For example, Cave Town, Beatles or the Crane Wives. Whenever I publish a song, I always feel a big relief because, hey, work's done. But it also makes me proud and happy that I was able to finish something. What songs will you cover in the future? Well, uh, here's a little teaser for the cover I'm currently working on. Die Träume von Partnern sind wie guter Wein. Sie schenken dir Freude und Trauer zugleich. And as you can imagine, that literally means my cover choices are totally random and not stuck to anything. I just do what my heart desires to do. But if you have suggestions, you can always tell me. And maybe I'll do it. What is easier for you, composing the melody or the lyrics? And what's your favorite song from the EP? For me, both of these elements just stick together. And when I had trouble writing a melody, it's most likely hard to get the right lyrics as well. But whenever I start writing a song, I have a topic in my mind anyway. And although it's not easy to write lyrics that sound pleasant and have meaning behind them, the melody is almost always the point where I start. And when it's done, I'm pretty sure what I want to do with the lyrics. So I guess melody is a bit harder for me. For your second question, it's just hard for me to decide, to be honest. I did my best to make every song as unique as possible without changing the style too much throughout the EP. In terms of the topic and music, I probably like them all on an equal level, but seen from a production and audio perspective, I'd say that One Trick Pony is the best. If that answer satisfied you, I'm very thankful. <laughs> Can you imagine trying other styles of music in the future? Yes, absolutely. In fact, trying new genres and learning how different styles work is one of my main motivations when I make music. Understanding and using the elements that make a genre unique not only helps to use them for your own projects, but to actually be able to compose an Arabian 
ballad or something. And that also means if I want to do a cute ukulele song with an orchestra and Chinese scales that tells the story about a flip-flop that time travels, I'll do that. Are you furry making the music 100% by yourself? Uh, yeah, pretty much. For my EP and the acoustic version of Ice Cream, I had some other musicians helping me out with some instruments though. And if you're a musician yourself, let me tell you that you will almost always benefit from working with someone who takes the job seriously. It's already a great help if you just have someone who listens to your drafts, mixes or masters. It's normal to become routine blinded if you have been working on a song for quite a while. And it's never a shame to ask for help. Oh, and having other musicians playing parts for your song feels... Very magical, very too. Magical very magical too. Magical very magical, 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 magical. Uh, your other two questions are related to my old channel, right? I do indeed still cut my videos with Vegas, just because I'm way too lazy to learn how to handle yet another cutting software. It does the job okay enough and... What's the weirdest and at the same time sweetest thing you ever did for someone? The first time I saw my artist Vidaka in real life, I challenged one of her former classmates to a fence duel. With plastic swords. While I was cosplaying him. Why did I do that again? If you had the chance to meet one of your fans and they ask you to hack them, would you do it? I'm not a friend of the word fan because that always somehow conveys a feeling of worshipping and... I'm just a guy that portrays himself with a cartoon dog character. But seriously, if I met one of my listeners in real life and they somehow know that it's me, I wouldn't mind to hug the person if they want that. I'm pretty open-hearted about hugs. As long as the same thing as in The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC bad ending doesn't happen. Wait, I just spoiled I'm so- And yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for asking some questions. It was a nice change to talk like this once again. When this video is online, my time at Music University probably already started, so I don't know how much time I will have to actively work on new stuff for this channel in the future. But I'll do my best to upload new things every once in a while. Maybe some of the work I did for university might even end up here. Well, I'd say that's it for now. Stay well, tell me about your breakfast in the comments, and have a nice day. Good night. Kaufst du mir ein Flugzeug? Nein, ihr werdet mich nicht wie euren Diener befehligen.